Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Assalamu alaikum. My name is Mohammad Asim. I am working as DevOps engineer. Guys, in this video, I am going to show you the use case of ambient mesh. So, guys, uh, in my past videos, I do have created, uh, I mean, videos regarding the ambient mesh, and also my past video is regarding the HTO gateway, right? So, in this video, I am going to show you the layer seven and layer four encryption. So guys what we are going to achieve here so this is what we are going to achieve here along with the layer 7 encryption right so this is my redis and we want uh, i mean tls uh, by default so ambient mesh provide layer 4 by default uh, encryption right which is going to be mtls so guys why we need it so if i navigate back here and if i navigate uh, to the concepts so if I click this guy, you will see some of the basic concepts. So what is ambient mesh? It provides sidecar less data plane mode, right? M ambient mesh splits uh, sidecar into layer four and layer seven functionality. So Z tunnel is MTL4, uh, I mean, MTLS layer four TCP uh, encryption, right? For matrix and logging. And as I told you, uh, we deployed like stateful application uh, like kafka redis or maybe mysql in our kubernetes cluster we want encryption at layers of four as well right so in transit encryption is going to be uh, added by layer four and at rest encryption we can enable uh, like uh, at rest encryption like by encrypting our uh, disk right we can do that so uh, if you are HIPAA uh, compliant or credit card, uh, credit card industry, right? So we need encryption, uh, I mean, to secure our customer's data, right? So we can easily achieve through ambient mesh. So Waypoint is the layer uh, seven uh, proxy. So I do have video regarding that. I mean, if you wanna see that, but in this video, I'm going to cover both, right? So this is the concept. Uh, let's uh, navigate back to our uh, area of discussion so guys i've already provisioned my cluster let me bring that guy into lens right so let me do that so guys this is our cluster brand new fresh cluster ekis cluster right so let me show you from the ui as well so this is the version 1.3.0 right so we are uh, we need to set up the ambient mesh so in my past videos i've already shown you you can use this uh, particular video if you want to see the detail what i'm going to do i'm going to quickly uh, do the stuff that uh, what we need so if i do ls here right so what i'm going to do i'm going to quickly run this particular script so what it does it is going to use actually the helm chart and we are going to use the version uh, one dot two three dot two right so let's let it install and we are going to see that uh, i might not be mistake on mistake here so let me and just wait for a while it is installing the base and it is going to do its tod so the extra component guys it is going to install is actually the z tunnel right so click this guy and we want to go to uh, istio system right and simply navigate to the helm chart releases you will see the release and it is 1.2.23.2 uh, right uh, this is uh, the release uh, which we are going to use so uh, as i discussed guys it is going to uh, add additional uh, i mean layer which is actually a daemon set ZTL, a z tunnel is a daemon set and i'm going to show you a daemon set here so we have three node cluster it means we should be able to see three z tunnel nodes right so wait for a while and shortly we will see our um, i mean architecture is going to be available here regarding the ambient mesh so the concept i already shown you why we need it and let's navigate to this demon set you see z tunnel three nodes that's why we have three port every port is going to be uh, running on that particular port guys so our setup is done what we are going to do okay so let me navigate back to this section if i do ls here and let me i'm going to actually 
do one thing here let me show you guys so guys this is the istio gateway i'm going to deploy that for istio gateway definitely we need layer 7 uh, capability because our uh, i mean uh, for customers uh, uh, i mean traffic is going to be uh, coming from uh, i mean our customer to layer 7 that's why uh, we will be using the waypoint but for redis we need uh, encryption at layer 4 level so let's uh, navigate to the section and I'm going to navigate to this section I'm going to quickly uh, I mean um, run a single command here because all these uh, in istio base istio d is already run through the script right so I'm going to uh, use this particular command right but before that uh, what I want to do uh, and it is the requirement I need a secret right so secret command i'm going to show you where i'm going to run that so if i do ls here tls in tls we do have this uh, directory dot tls so if i simply remove the tls directory tls shell is going to create my self science certificate and what i'm going to do i'm going to run this command so if you see this particular command this is going to create secret in name space issue istio system right with my cert and key so this is my domain guys right i'm going to create secrets here and I'm going to move back to previous directory this part is done go one more step so guys this is the uh, istio gateway right so for that uh, as I already told you in my past video we need a load balancer component uh, application load balancer controller right so uh, through teragrant I have already deployed that right so what I'm going to do I'm going to simply copy this guy and I'm going to run it but uh, i forget to tell you that i have uh, uh, added this part in the script as well so my bad but this part is i needed regarding the script so this is not uh, needed so my bad if i navigate to this section you see istio and Greece gateway is already there so okay so we don't need to run that particular command so if i navigate back here and if i navigate to in this area i should be able to see a load balancer which is going to be network uh, load balancer you see this is active and i'm going to copy this guy and i'm going to add uh, this in my cloud failure. let me do that so guys uh, i need to update this area simply click this guy and i'm going to update the c name for my load balancer right so i'm going to save this guy right and i'm going to open uh, this domain right but i need to tell you the stuff regarding that if i navigate to the target section right uh, as i told you in past as well so this is uh, regarding the ambient mesh so it is used for mdls and internal stuff it do so it is going to be healthy definitely and we need to check the other ports like 80 and 443 let's see what's happened there so you see it is in initializing states so even it is initialized uh, shortly it is going to be unhealthy right so what i'm going to do i'm going to open the app let me do that so guys if you see uh, currently our server is down because we have not deployed any app so if i navigate back to the section c uh, port 880 the status of this is unhealthy and simply navigate back to the section target group see this uh, status of port 443 it should be unhealthy as well right so what we are going to do we are going to deploy our uh, i mean application so let's do that so first of all we are going to deploy our layer 7 uh, waypoint proxy application we are going to use uh, ambient mesh so there uh, is no sidecar for that so simply what i'm going to do i'm going to navigate back to uh, applications so i'm going to navigate to the ambient right so waypoint i'm going to deploy this simple application k apply hpnf istio gateway so this is the guys sample hello world application but it has uh, like uh, it is going to uh, i mean label the namespace default right so what i'm going to do also i need to update uh, i mean i need to install the kiali and prometheus so k apply fnf uh, for first of all you need to install prometheus then kiali and grafana so let's deploy those stuff we are going to see the stuff in our kiali so similar command and simply update uh, kiali right and then last we are going to use grafana 
so let it deploy and it is going to do quickly right and grafana right so i'm going to navigate to my lens and simply uh, you will see those pods are uh, spinning grafana kiali and prometheus right and uh, okay uh, i wanna see if i navigate to the services section and i'm going to port forward to kiali right so simply i'm going to forward this guy to any port forward this so it is going to uh, show us the stuff so if i navigate uh, to this section it should be working now you see our application is available and if i navigate back to this section you see uh, this is healthy and this is uh, port 443 right and if i navigate to this section navigate to targets so our target 80 should be also healthy so simply refresh it you will see it is healthy right and simply last one is uh, has no issue because it is used by HTO already so you see it has no issues so if i navigate back to kiali HTO config and uh, click select all name spaces right and refresh you see our gateway virtual service uh, authorization poly destination rule peer authentication is already available right and if you want to see our application and uh, navigate to the graph section i'm going to select all the check marks here right so simply click all these guys you will see some of the flows as well so we are going to simply uh, refresh our service like uh, we are going to send some traffic onto it inbound outward rule so guys this is a layer f uh, i mean uh, seven waypoint i'm going to show you uh, that part as well first of all see what's happening here and we are going to send some i mean generate some traffic so it is istio gateway right and and i'm going to just do a little refresh 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 or you can use other tool to you know do some quick uh, testing here but let's see some of this traffic is already generated so instead of one minute i'm going to refresh it and we should be able to see and this is the virgin graph instead of that we want to see the uh, i mean workload graph so zoom in a bit here you see traffic is started flowing right and yeah so generate more traffic just a bit okay and how it is a uh, waypoint proxy navigate to the istio config right and navigate to the services and scroll it down okay and workload right i need to check okay scroll scroll it down first of all double check uh, is it i mean it should not uh, i mean set up any side card so i'm going to use this default namespace so you see there is no sidecar with this allo application i am going to get rid of uh, in fact I'm, i don't want to get rid of this guy i'm going to open the logs of the z tunnels right and you will see the traffic is going to be coming here and i'm going to simply uh, remove the extra stuff like istio system you see uh, i mean our pods are uh, you know there is no sidecar as a regular uh, proxy like uh, sidecar proxy is not there right so default hello policy right so this is the stuff and uh, istio d you see istio d is there hello app service is there and this is the workload graph oh, sorry uh, services workload Prometheus graph. Now you see this is the Z tunnel Istio system, right? And this is our hello application, right? And if I navigate back to this section, first of all, I need to double check from here what I've applied. So let me want to show you that. So Istio gateway, right? You see 
this is the label i'm talking about so this is not the injection label so that is fine so that part is done so and let's generate a little bit more traffic and you will see some of the stuff logs are going to be available because it is going to proxy through uh, that particular z tunnel and i'm going to uh, i want to see because might be these ports are deployed on, on, on other nodes so what i'm going to do i'm going to looking for uh, i mean another uh, every z tunnel port so previously we opened the logs for uh, first second and uh, i mean i'm looking for the logs for the third as well right so you will see the stuff that you see it is flowing uh, through ingress gateway you see and it is going to uh, you know mesh our uh, traffic right so yes this is the layer 7 in encryption you see and you see this is encrypted and you see the padlocks as well anyway and now what we are going to do we are looking for a stuff regarding the layers for which we have discussed so what is the benefit you see uh, the advantage of using like the ambient mesh we you don't have to add additional sidecar like it is going to cost you more and it is also provide uh, i mean i mean causes the latency issues and other stuff so now uh, this is the layer 7 stuff guys now what we need to do uh, we need to have layer 4 so uh, for layer 4 what we are going to do uh, navigate to okay first of all i want to see some of the stuff regarding that everything looks good let me check that right istio ingress gateway okay okay now what we are going to do so if i do ls here and if i do cd back to CD back to our main area and I should be navigate, navigate to Redis right so uh, I'm going to simply apply this Redis but before applying this let me show you the stuff regarding what we have in this uh, redis.yaml so you see we are going to I mean um, use the default namespace right and it is also the same uh, label we are going to use to mesh our layer 4 application so as i discussed in past we have the issue like kafka redis or um, uh, mysql might be postgres are not actually the traffic is encrypted but we want that for our you know application might be hipaa compliant or uh, other stuff you need for your compliance requirement and we want encryption and to end not just layer 7 encryption we want layer 4 encryption as well so guys we are not even encrypting our redis application we don't have to do anything uh, to do that uh, traffic is going to route through uh, route through those z tunnels right and it is going to be automatically mtls on layer 4 so let's see the demo and uh, let's try to see this demo in one uh, go we already uh, saw the layer 7 encryption right and this is created and uh, navigate back to this section uh, this is our uh, what can i say this is the redis application it is going to uh, send some requests automatically added in the scripts but uh, from the client script so if I navigate to this uh, this area client and I want to see this name is already selected uh, I should be uh, able to see my uh, redis as well so so in a bit so you see redis client is actually receiving traffic encrypted as well so you see you see, you're actually seeing uh, let me refresh here one more time you are actually witnessing the layer 7 and layer 4 uh, encryption in this video with this Kelly so guys it is uh, I mean this is the requirement we need and how easily we can achieve uh, through a mid mesh so you will get now the understanding you see uh, this is our uh, layer 7 application exposed through 
uh, or you can say the API exposed through um, Istio Gateway, right? And uh, this is our internal layer for application. It is also encrypted. Might be definitely if, uh, you need like uh, have uh, keys, secure keys you want to store in Redis and your application might be, this is not connected with this. Let's suppose this application is actually connected with this Redis and it is going to send data to this to keep, uh, I mean, to get the keys and this internal communication is going to be encrypted. So guys, uh, you see, this is how we can e easily achieve uh, the layer 4 and um, uh, layer 7 encryption MTLS and uh, this is how we can easily do that. So this is the simple video. Uh, if you uh, like the video, please do comment and share the video and uh, also test in your infrastructure as well because this is according to me is going to be the future of uh, Istio because uh, this is very powerful uh, feature and it is actually easily do uh, I mean encryption uh, for our both layer 4 and layer 7 application thank you have a nice day